I have one messy coder here with a new series. I'll be making a cyberpunk style game using Manufacture K4's Dark Sea 2 pack. I've got them alongside that car then. I picked up in the Made Madness. I've also got the PP801 character. It's a bit of a mouthful, trying to remember what his name was from Crime Fan. Look at him, he's beautiful. He's got a gas mask on because it's hard to breathe. We've got Volumetric Fog and Mist from Connect, making the city a bit dark and mysterious. Oh, a couple was in that car. Just got past him. Now, we've also got a load of other assets thrown in here as well. We've got the Dissonance Voip that I purchased on, a ma on another Made Madness. It was last year's Made Madness. And a load of other stuff that we picked up in this Made Madness, such as the CTAA. That's supposed to make your games look beautiful. I just chucked it in. This is going to be an exercise in optimization. Even without any characters or anything running around, this scene varies from 60 FPS, lovely, down to 15, not so good. We want to get a solid frame rate throughout our playing adventure. And to do that, well, we're going to have to do a lot of work. Because as beautiful as this asset is, look at it. It looks lovely. Well, it can play a bit like a dog. So, we're going to be using Seascape from Oliver to try and convert these buildings into something highly optimized and enough to build a massive city. Are you excited? I'm excited. I want to want to run around shooting things with my mates. Where am I going? I got lost. This this demo scene is so big, I managed to get myself completely lost. Let's turn around. Well, I'm going to load up the other demo scene, the subway, because the subway gives us a much better frame rate. We're getting about 150 to 200 FPS in the subway. Ooh, but it's not as sexy as this. And I wanted to show you just how beautiful this demo scene is. This is, I mean, it really is lovely. It's a lovely demo scene. But, oh, headshot. Quickly get back in the car. Get back in the car. Drive up. Roll the cops car. Oh. Lost them. Lost them. No colliders in there. So as you can see, when we're around here, performance really takes it. And what's the point of buying a beautiful asset if you can't really use it? I hear you ask. Exactly. So whereas you might not actually buy any of the assets in this series, hopefully, some of the knowledge of what we're going to learn of how to optimize our games will be transferable and will be helpful to you. <gasps> There's the cops. Oh, sugar bombs. Load. Oh! Oh my word. He took me down. <gasps> oh. Here we are inside the subway demo scene from the manufacture K4's Dark City 2 pack. We've got again volumetric fog and mist from Connect making it look all misty and well polluted. That's why this guy's got his gas mask on. We're going down here it's got first person mode, it's got third person mode in the master enemy system from M7. So this demo scene looks lovely, the pipes look beautiful, textures are fantastic, it really is outstanding, it's a lovely pack and funny enough, in this demo scene, it runs at a decent 120, 150, sometimes 200 FPS without anyone in it running around shooting it. And we need to get solid FPS throughout this game. We're making the other demo scene, as we saw, had some major problems when we were getting 15, 12 FPS. Imagine we're going around shooting each other. Really, it's not going to be worth fun playing at all. But anyway, even in single player mode, you would be like, oh, this is... This is appalling. So we need to optimise, we need to make this game playable, we need to make it fun. So hopefully we're going to learn a lot while we're doing it, or we're going to end up giving up halfway through and pulling our hair out. We don't want to do that, do we? No. We want to complete it, we want to launch it, we want to play together. We want to play with you and you want to play with me. So let's get our thinking caps on and think how can we make this a huge success. Now you're going to sit down. Tell all your friends, your neighbours, random people on the street that the messy coder is 
playing about with the Master Anim system we've manufactured K4's Dark City 2 pack with this lovely beautiful character from Quan Fan PP801 character they really need to have better names than that like Cyber Cyberpunk Man or something like that that would be cool but until then if you do like it click it if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.